What is good YouTube? It is Jabes here coming back to you guys with another build video. Thanks for all the support on all my recent videos. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, and comment down below. And if you haven't, turn on that post notification button. 75% of you who watch my videos are not subscribed, so please subscribe down below. I'm on the road to 2,000 subscribers. And I upload daily 2K21 content on this channel, so make sure you come check it out daily. And in the comments recently, you all have been asking for a center build, so I am bringing you a center build. But ready, I'm not just bringing you any center build. I am bringing you a center build that gets Hall of Fame playmaking and contact dunks, so let's get into it. So most centers will go for like the finishing pie chart, or maybe they want some shooting and finishing, or maybe they want the pure defensive pie charts down here, or the defense and finishing pie chart, which is right here. But we are actually going to go with the playmaking and finishing pie chart right now. Now you might be asking yourself, it says 63 driving dunk. How is this build going to get contact dunks? Just wait until you see everything that happens and I promise you it gets contact dunks. Now for this, it's kind of your call. You can go with speed. You can go with the bottom one, which is the balance pie chart. Or even the one that is speed and vertical. Me personally, I'm going to go with the one that is speed and vertical right now because the strength is going to be low on this build no matter what. And you want to have a high vertical to get contact dunks. Now this is where it gets fun. For finishing, you are going to max your close shot. You're going to max your driving layup and your driving dunk. Max your standing dunk. And you're going to put your post hook to a 79 to give you 23 finishing badges. Now we are going to skip over shooting entirely. This build doesn't really need to shoot. We're going to drop down here to playmaking and we're going to max our pass accuracy and max our post moves. And then we're going to put our ball handle to a 37. Now yes, this ball handle is pretty low for this build. But I think you really need that extra defensive badge that I'm going to get for not putting the rest of this playmaking on. Moving down to the rest of the defense, we are going to max defensive rebound. We're going to max offensive rebound. We are going to max our block. We are going to max our interior defense and put the last seven on lateral quickness to get 11 defensive badges. Now this build comes out to 62 total badges, which is an insane number. And now this is where the fun begins. We're going to go built. I like built for any contact dunk and build. I tell everyone that if you want a contact dunk, go built. Height, we're dropping all the way to 6'9". Look at 71 speed, 78 vertical already. And look at plus 19 to ball handling and plus 17 to my driving dunk. Now for weight, we are going to drop it. We are going to try and get this dude as fast as we can. We are going to go 194 pounds and have 77 speed with an 80 vertical at center. Meaning with Jim Rat and hitting 99, this build will have about 86 speed at center with like an 88 to 89 vertical. And you might be looking, driving dunk 83, that's not contact dunks. Well, now we still have the wingspan where we max it out. And as you can see, you have an 86 driving dunk, 95 standing dunk, a solid vertical for being 6'9". And the best thing of it all is you get the choice to put playmaking takeover on your center position. And there you have it. You have an interior finisher, a playmaking interior finisher build that gets contact dunks. This is a scary build for the park. Now, when I make these build videos now, I'm going to show you guys the badges I would prefer to put on if I had them all. Just so you guys can have an idea of the type of player I would pick for my badges. So for finishing, I kind of have a core five I go with. Consistent and contact, Hall of Fame. First two, I usually put the Hall of Fame. Fancy footwork, I love to hop step. This always goes Hall of Fame for me. Same thing with Relentless. If you get hit with a little bit of contact, this helps you kind of force the ball in sometimes. And then, of course, the opposite of Relentless is Slithery, so you can slide by them. And then with my final three, I'm going to put it on Giant Slayer because I am a 6'9 center. I'm going to have bigger people on me, so I definitely need Giant Slayer. Now, for the one shooting, if you ever have a build that has one shooting and you don't use it for shooting, always put it on Slippery Up Ball or Pump Fake Mastery or whatever you want to use. And now here is where the fun begins. We get 27 points making on this build so i'm just going to show you how i'm going to lay this out i'm going to go silver there hall of fame there gold there hall of fame there hall of fame here hall of fame here gold here and then we're going to put gold on needle thunder as well and as you can see this build is going to have quick first step on hall of fame which is going to help and the handles for days and tight handle mixed with the unpluckable i shouldn't be getting stripped i get to run floor general and dimer for my team at center this is going to be an 
interesting, crazy build that I can't wait to see in the neighborhood. And then for the 11 defensive badges, we have two ways we're going to show you these. The first way is if you're playing the guard position, not really the big men. Let's say you're running the two in the park because you have another big man with you. I would go clamps gold, lightning reflex gold, interceptor gold, and intimidator silver. Now this is if you're playing the two. You can even flip these if you wanted to. This is just because if you're on a guard in the park, you want to be quick, and this is kind of gives you the ability to clamp down those guard positions. Now let's say you're the big man. You're six nine. you're undersized, but you need to play in the paint. It's pretty obvious for me what it has to be. You have to put on rim protector, gold, intimidator, gold, rebound chaser, gold, and you got to put Pogo on silver. Now Pogo got nerfed pretty bad, but this build is undersized, and it's going to need to maybe jump a couple times in the row so you're gonna want that pogo stick and bam here is the 62 bad center build i hope you guys really enjoyed this video please like subscribe and comment down below i bring 2k21 content daily and this is james and i'll catch you guys back soon with another video